So let's open your file menu and find the scripts sub menu. Find the ransomware and run it. Mainly, you will be using this text input bar. So let's type thumb text here. You can use letters, digits, or any symbols you want. Here is a predefined, randomly selected, cool looking word. Let's remove it and type what you wish to. Let it be the word example. The following essential thing is the small input text bar. You need to enter the size of the single character in pixels. The default value is 500, which is usually enough, but you can use a number from 500 to 5000. This is a crucial parameter because the execution time of the script depends on it. In our case, I don't want to wait so long and leave this value by default. Basically, it's everything that you need to do. So, let's create a new composition. Select it and hit the ransom it button. It can take some time, so please be patient. It will create a lot of compositions, layers and expressions. The greater value of char size and the longer words will take more time. It also depends on the number of installed fonts on your system. And you can see this number here. In my case, it's 482. Well, we've got a result. Before we start working on the main settings, I will show you what we have in the project browser. As you can see, we have a separate folder here. All content generated by ransomware will be here. Let's open it. We have a separate folder for every newly generated word. Let's open it. We've got a lot of stuff here, but basically we need two comps only. The first comp we need is merged with a special command, edit here. Let's open this comp. Here is only one layer. Let's select it and open the effect controls panel. Before we start, let's look at the size of this layer. Open the scale property. As you can see, the scale is 54.9%. The ransomware automatically adjusts the layer scale to match the size of your work composition. So let's make it 100%. As you can see, this is actual size of the word. It's a little bit bigger than we need, so let's make it smaller. Let's start making some cool thing. As you can see, here is a bunch of parameters. Let's take a look at all of them. The first slider is a global random seed. As you would expect from the name, it'll change the whole look with one click. So just play with the slider and you will get absolutely new results each time. Okay, the next one is a tracking slider. So with this slider, you can change the distance between characters. You can change it in both directions. The third is a checkbox. It enables the random tracking feature. Let's turn it on. Now, the distance between characters will be randomized. And then we have an angle control here. Let's change it to get more natural working results. And the last common parameter is a scale slider. Let me a minute to explain to you what it's doing. So, this value defines a difference between the sizes of characters. It means that the scale of the smallest char will be 75% and the largest will be 100% accordingly. So let's increase this value to 100. All the characters are getting the same size, so there is no difference. Let's decrease this value to 50%. Now we get the slope from 50% to 100%. Play with the slider to get the coolest results. The next group of sliders will influence each symbol separately. The first one is an E slider. This is because we have the letter E at the beginning and this slider at first. So let's change it. As you might have guessed, it will affect the first chair only. And this is the central concept of the ransomware. You can play with random seats separately and together. You can achieve the result you want. You can play with random to get a more cool looking design. And it's a continuous process. If you're unsatisfied with the result, you have an additional level of control. So, let's look at the project browser. Here is another composition marked with a special command. Customize here. Let's open it. We have a lot of layers here. Each layer is a character. So, I select the first character E. It'll be the last layer in this case. And what do we see here? We have a special checkbox, use global random. Let's turn it off. 
and now we can edit some things manually. The first thing I gotta edit is a scale slider. Let's change it. The next thing is a paper cover. Let's pick another cover for the paper. By selecting the checkbox, you can capitalize the character as needed. The same as here. You can make the character italic by turning it on. Finally, you can set your symbol in bold. The next feature is rotation, it's no need to explain. At last, we have three color selectors. Letter color, letter stroke color, and shadow color. Let's change them. In summary, all these features will help you manually set a specific option if you need it. Keep in mind that some changes can be visible with another seed only. So, we've reviewed all the main features of the Renzo Matter. Please remember to read a PDF help, you can find some additional information there. And thank you so much for your attention.